Good morning, uh, Prime Minister. Prime Minister to Aleppo, this is your first visit to Israel? Yes. yes. And uh, we just said that I uh, hope it's not the last. I'm sure it won't be because there's uh, an abiding friendship between Samoa and Israel. And we greet you here as a friend. Uh, we're going to sign an agreement to uh, remove uh, visa requirements uh, for Israelis and Samoas. But I have to say that uh, there is no visa requirement in, uh, in our hearts, uh, even before that. We appreciate your friendship. We appreciate your support in international forums and your support for Israel joining the Asian Development Bank. Uh, equally, we are cooperating in many areas, in agriculture, in IT, in health, in energy, and we're prepared to do a lot more. Uh, I want to assure you that you are being welcomed as a friend. I know that you've had time to visit some of the sites here. I hope you take some more time. You'll see an ancient land with uh, deep roots in our history, yet uh, with uh, a striving for the future, to seize the future for the betterment of our people and of all mankind. And in that sense, of course, uh, we welcome you as part of our common civilization. So welcome, friend. Welcome to Jerusalem. Let me first of all acknowledge the endorsement of my official visit to Israel, and one which was postponed over a decade ago due to circumstances beyond anyone's control. Mm -hmm. I'm most appreciative of the opportunity to be in Israel because such are one of the ways by which we are continuing to build on our relations. Such is the reason why I'm happy that after so many years of discussions and no doubt negotiations another window of opportunity has opened for furthering cooperation between our two countries. Through the signing of the visa waiver agreement today, as a founding member of the Asian Development Bank, we have also signaled our support of your country's application to be a member of the bank. We continue to be meaningfully engaged at the United Nations as a responsible international citizen and in a manner, manner alike, give careful and considered support to Israel to the maximum extent possible. Though these might seem small measures from a small island developing country, we can only do our best and we see potential and mutual benefit to our two countries through the visa waiver arrangement. Israel will continue to draw the world to itself through its rich and valuable cultural history, and Samoa is no exception. Pilgrimages come from Samoa to Israel every year. Mm -hmm. The technological, and innovative advances of Israel to address development problems will attract trainees from countries like Samoa. Prime Minister, I am certain that this visa arrangement will foster more people-to-people -people linkages between our two nations. I thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister. Uh, I have to say the Prime Minister is a great expert and fan of rugby. <laughs> and I'm somewhat knowledgeable in uh, football. Uh, I used to play it myself. So we have uh, private exchanges that we have to clarify about these two uh, national pastimes. Uh, but unfortunately, we are also plagued by uh, occasional challenges. We had uh, a terrorist attack this morning, and I'd like to say a few words in Hebrew about it. Uh, טרוריסטים שאימו לדרוס אותם. אנחנו קודם כל שולחים ברכות להחלמה מהירה לקצין הפצוע, וגם נעשה כל דבר כדי לזרז את הריסת הבתים של ה...
המרצחים הללו, כמו של הרוצח של אורי אנסבכר. נתתי הוראה לזרז את ההריסות של שני הבתים האלה במסגרת המגבלות של מערכת המשפט. אבל אנחנו נחושים להמשיך את המאבק התקיף שלנו נגד המרצחים, נגד הטרור באשר הוא. תודה רבה.